This is a review of uh, significant figures. Because measurements are often taken with laboratory equipment, there is always going to be a digit that is estimated, and this estimated digit is called an uncertain digit. Significant figures are all the certain digits plus the first digit that's uncertain. That is the first digit that's estimated. Um, no instruments, of course, can read to an infinite number of decimal places, so there will always be an uncertain digit. Now, there's two different kinds of um, phrases that refer to measurement. Accuracy is one and precision is the other. Accuracy refers to the agreement of a particular value with the true value, so this is getting close to the accepted value. Precision refers to how close the values are to each other. So if we look at a set of darts when they're thrown at a dartboard, these values are really not all that close together and they're not all that close to the target, so they would be neither precise nor accurate. These particular darts are close to each other, but they're not close to the, the bullseye, so they would be precise but not accurate. And then this last dartboard, you see all the values are pretty much in the center and they're pretty close to each other, so they would be both precise and accurate. Now in a laboratory, there are two types of error. There's random error, which is indeterminate error. You know, it just happens, and it can send the experimental values up in value or down in value, so it can increase or decrease the values. Systematic error is usually something to do with technique, um, and it usually sends the um, calculated lab values in one direction or another, so it increases the values pretty much consistently or decreases the values pretty much consistently. So whenever we record numbers in a lab, we want to try to do so in the correct number of significant figures. So there's several rules determining whether figures are significant or not. Non-zero digits are always significant. So 3,456 would have four significant figures, so they all count. Uh, leading zeros do not count as significant digits. So 0 0.0486 would only have three significant figures. Captive zeros always count as significant, so 16.07 would have four significant figures. Trailing zeros are only significant if the number contains a decimal point, so 9.300 would have four significant figures. Now, exact numbers have an infinite number of significant figures, and we can't really count infinity, so we don't assign significant figure value to exact numbers. So 12 inches is equal to one foot exactly. We wouldn't assign significant figures because there's really no estimated number. So what you should do now is take these particular values and indicate how many significant figures are found in each of them. So I would pause this now and, and do these six. Now, rules for mathematical operations. When you multiply and divide, the number of significant figures in the result equals the number in the least precise measurement used in the calculation. So for example, 6.38 times 2.0 gives us a value of 12.76. 6.38 has three significant figures, 2.0 has two significant figures, so our resulting answer should be 13. Um, and that 13 has two significant figures. So if you could take the following calculations and then what is set on the calculator and determine based on the significant figures and the two numbers that are multiplied or divided, figure out how that answer should be recorded in the correct number of significant figures. So again, I would pause the podcast here and work on those uh, six examples. Now, what happens with addition and subtraction? The number of decimal places in the result equals the number of decimal places in the least precise measurement. Notice that with addition and subtraction, it's decimal place dependent. So for example, 6.8 plus 11.934. 6.8 goes to the tenths place. 11.934 goes out to the uh, thousands place. So the least of those two would be the tenths place. So once you've added the two numbers then, you would round it to the tenths place. So multiplication and division is 
the least number of digits, addition and subtraction is the least number of decimal places. And again, here are several calculations to go through. So the calculation and then what the calculator actually says and what you're to do then, of course, is record the values in the correct number of significant figures.